from uh, New Hunter Church of Christ here at Evangelical Friends Church. You come here each and every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock to hear the message from either Pastor Ed or Brother Charlie, the youth minister over here, and he'll give you a good message. You'll get fed spiritually. I just can't come because I do church things myself, myself as a preacher, so I can't be here. But I come for the food, but I do help out when I can with counseling and things when I'm able to. And uh, with watching out so the kids are safe when they're off school or when I'm able to do it if I'm here early enough. We have other people in place that do what I do when I'm not here, so we have a system in place, which is good. But I want to let people know, you know, this is a good place to come for your children, a good place to come for getting your food. Um, you don't have to worry about anything when they come here. Uh, everybody's been pre-screened and tested. So, you know, they're safe to be around as far as the workers here, for the most part. I would say probably 98% of, of the people here. Um, and so, therefore, it's all good. I mean, you always have that little small place everywhere. Even, you know, I have to watch people in my church. Or it's not my church, but God's church at New Hunter. Because people are people, and sometimes people do go off the handle and do things they wouldn't normally do because they have imbalances because they're eating the wrong food or not getting the right sleep, not taking their medication, or all the above. Or maybe they got things going on in their life and they're lashing out at people because of other things that are going on that are beyond their control, and yet they're mad because they're taking it out on other people because of their circumstance or situations that they're going through. You know, maybe they have a lot of pain, and that can make people grumpy too. Um, and old people get grumpy too, because sometimes old, some of them do get grumpy. Not everyone, but some of them do. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people go off the handle. So you just have to pray for them and love them when you come in contact with anyone like this wherever you are in the ministry, because you're going to come in contact with odd people. You know, I call them Mrs. and Mrs. Disagreeable. They always have something to say. You always have them everywhere in all churches. We have them over at New Hunter. They always want to complain about something. Something ain't good enough. They're always, even when everything is just right, they got to always find something to complain about. And ain't really nothing to complain about. But they, you're always going to have a few of those in every church you go to. But don't let those people try to ruin you as a minister or try to ruin the church vision there. Sometimes you get a lot of people that go to church that are just a bunch of critics. And then you don't have really an atmosphere of worship. So you've got to be careful about that. You've got to balance that out. It's good to have feedback. But make sure the feedback is edifying and wholesome. That's so important. So it uplifts the body. Remember, we're here to preach the gospel, the light of the good news, into the dark world and as people who come in the doors of our congregations. And we want to make sure that we're preaching the Bible and not just preaching some hocus-pocus nonsense like a lot of people are doing. Uh, make sure we're following the scriptures and knowing what the Word says exactly, not going on what we think it says, or by our convictions, which could be wrong, because a lot of times our convictions are wrong. I've discovered that myself. So I'm sure a lot of people, if you are reading the Bible regularly, you're going to be challenged in your thinking and in my thinking, because it was challenging me as a preacher before I became a preacher and a minister of the gospel. And I'm telling you, it's going to challenge you, Pastor Ed. It's going to challenge you, Charlie. It's going to challenge everybody in the church. If you're reading that Bible right, you're going to hear things in church that you don't agree with because it's not what's being taught. So, so you've got to make sure it's coming from the Bible. That's why convictions and traditions don't get you to heaven. But the Bible will, okay? The Bible always disagrees because the Bible always tells the truth. Men always got to come along and foul it all up to pieces. Now always remember that the devil threw confusion in there to do that. That's why we have all these denominations out here. It was never meant to have all these things, but we have them because of that reason. So that's the real truth about it. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the real honest preacher gospel truth. Why we, it's like this today. There's a lot of good things with denominations. There's bad things because we rely on our traditions more than we do on the doctrine of Christ. And that's what gets in the way of teaching and gets in the way of preaching and doing good things in the ministry because of these stupid traditions we have in our churches. They're not biblical, some of them. Some of them are good. We've got to have some balance and order. Bylaws are necessary. Okay? They're not traditions. Some people can call them that, but they're not. They're to cause order, to keep balance and to keep um, respect and to set up a perimeter of rules and not to sound all computerized or all high-tech here, but 
they're really structure so that your church will be able to be able to function at its best cohesion, meaning working together as one component to do the God, the will of God in every aspect and capacity. And that's what bylaws are really about. But a lot of man-made traditions have come out of those. So we have to be careful, folks. You know, me as a preacher, I have to weigh, every time we have a rule or something that we want to do or pray on first, we always do that. And we always consult the scriptures. Don't make a rule or an ordinance if you're Catholic or, you know, some kind of decree if you're Jewish. You know, make sure it's coming from God's word, essentially. Make sure you're, everything you do is scriptural based not based on what you feel. See, a lot of times when we make rules, it's because sometimes it's because of how we feel at the time. Well, you know it's going to bite you later. So, you know, those feelings can really, really cause a lot of uproar and ruckuses. So make sure it's based on biblical doctrine. When you make a rule, make sure it's based on God's fallacy in his infallible word. Because God don't foul. There's no fallacy in God. That's why I say infallible. There's nothing wrong with that. Use his word as your guide. When you make a rule, when you make a bylaw, when you set a principle, when you make an addendum, a change, or an amendment, make sure you pray on it first. Ask God, the Holy Spirit, to guide you as eldership, deacons, chancellors, trustees, you know, chancellors. Did I say that already? I think I did. I'm getting tired. Um, just make sure you go by the way of the Spirit and always trust God. God and everything you do in your churches. All right? Don't let man ideas get in the way because that won't get you to heaven. That'll take you away from heaven. Make sure they're godly. Okay? All right, this is Michael DeSilvis, the one to grow on, Preacher Corner. We're back. <laughs> Please send a donation if you feel and you love us and you care. We sure need them at this time, folks. It's uncertain, but God's work still has to be done. So that's why we need your monies to do more of that. Because we don't get money from the media. We don't get money from the government. We get money from everyone who listens to us. And that's you. And it doesn't matter what denomination you're in. You might like what we say. Because what we do say is the truth. You know, the truth sometimes is hard to hear. But the truth needs to be taught. And that's what I do. And that's what we're all supposed to be doing. So please help us out if you can. Subscribe down below. It's down below this video. There'll be a little red button if you're in Windows or in Mac. Click on that. It'll turn white. It says subscribe, subscribe, and you're subscribed, and you get all the news and all the programs that get put out from our channel. And of course, uh, we like you, love you, even if I don't know you. You're welcome. Refer your friends. It doesn't cost anything, but just click on the subscribe button. And hey, tell everybody about it. You know, it don't matter who you are. I love you anyway. You know, life's too short, man. Yeah, I got, a, I got a round nose. I can't help it. It's pointed. It looks like it has a beak sometimes. I know. God made me this way. Leave me alone. You know, I can't help it. See? Ha <laughs> ha! No, I'm stuck. But the thing is, hey, that's the way God made me, all right? I don't got wings, so I'm not going to fly away. But no, it doesn't look that bad. That's just the way the camera is. I think it's crazy. <laughs> so I get behind a pulpit, I'm on camera and I don't see it. It's just the way you hold the camera, and sometimes it looks like it's more pointed. <laughs> it's Pinocchio. My nose is growing. My nose is growing. All right, let me stop. All right, I'll see you later. I love you. Stay strong in the Lord. Peace and take care. Michael DeSillis, preacher for the New Hunter Church of Christ, evangelist for the Lord Jesus. See you. Shalom.